Many thanks for choosing us. They are hunted at home and wanted at work. And one of the many fallouts of the rising cost of fuel and the current economic crunch in the country, truck drivers in Accra are now slipping out of home at dawn. They're doing this to avoid paying housekeeping money. Manuel Kranting speaks to some of them for our latest edition of the Joy Living Standard Series. Grumbles and lamentations. It's Monday morning, but in a sharp contrast to what it used to be, the Aoshibayat Sand and Stone Station does not look busy. The loading boys stand idle and the truck drivers play drafts to while away time. This has been the scene here for months now. The works are not coming. The boys are there. We have dealt here, we have over 300 people to 400 who were, uh, apart from the tipper drivers, we have sand and stone sellers and we have the, uh, the loaders, the boys who are loading to get something for their family. The money that they have been getting is not sufficient. So if they get it today, hand to mouth, hand to mouth, hand to mouth. In just six months, the price of an essential input for the truck business, diesel, has almost doubled, selling now at 11 cities 30 pesos, up from 6 cities 70 pesos in January 2022. This has made it near impossible for the drivers to meet their targets. The recent 30 pesos for reduction is just a scratch on the surface. The car owners will just take their cars from us. My truck has been taken. We can work the whole month only to run into debt. February, <laughs> For hours, these truck drivers stand around here waiting for patrons who really never come or when they do, cannot even afford the cost of the materials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if, if only I know, I know that you don't have a car okay. and you are working, I, I can give you some spare okay. to go and come. Okay. Not that I will go and work, then I should, I should come and give you something. Okay. I will give you the spare. After 36 years of driving his truck, Seth Abosi now sneaks out of his home at dawn. He does this to avoid confrontations with his wife and children over housekeeping money. My kids are always pursuing me for money, so I wake up very early to avoid meeting them. Even this morning, they confronted me. I managed to settle two out of the three. But Seth is not alone. Many more of his colleagues actually live this reality. I also wake up at 2 a.m. to come to work. 
I send the money when I get it later in the day. While they struggle with their families and twos at home, the drivers have their truck owners to answer to. Many of the truck owners are taking back their vehicles, gradually pushing the drivers out of job. One week says, and then last week, no, last week, no, and I, the Juma with me, and I, I kept him. Last week, no, now, Mr. Kenya, I kept him. Into this is my sales for one week, which was owed me from last week. My boss took his truck because I couldn't pay promptly. I'm going to pay now. I hope he returns the truck to me. So now, while the rising fuel cost compounds the already slow-paced activities at the station, these truck drivers can only hope that government intervenes to save their jobs. Manuel Cranting, Joy News, Accra.